Hey, is it possible a guy in Scotland captured some drone footage of the Loch Ness Monster? Or is this just another hoax in a long line of hoaxes? I've got a lock on that mystery, plus answers on a couple other things that you guys are curious about. Like this photo that claims this is a real frog, and this picture that wants us to believe this is a real flying car over Slovakia. I've got all that, plus some new fan art, my favorite fake of the week, and a whole lot more. So grab your friends, grab your families, have some fun finding out who's best at sorting out fact from fiction. Hey guys, Bill here. You know, when it comes to the Loch Ness Monster, there is no shortage of people out there claiming to have caught the legendary monster on camera. One of my favorites is this video. Back with. That's hand right. Oh my god! Did you see that? Despite all the hype about it being the Loch Ness Monster, the truth is, it's just a clip from a movie trailer for a movie called The Water Horse. What? What is it? Now here we have the supposed Loch Ness Monster, and then here we have uh, where they got that footage from inside this trailer. Now, as you might know, all the other clips, all the other photos, everything captured on camera, well, you know, it all turns out to be fake. Say what? Now, in terms of this new video, which a lot of people are saying was captured by a man on vacation at the Loch Ness uh, and actually got some 4K drone footage of old Nessie. The video was sent in by a whole bunch of people, including Alel KH, The Egg, and Roma Hit. Roma asked, could you please check if this is real or fake? Roma, you know, I might do just that. Now, just in case you are new to the whole Loch Ness monster legend, it's a creature that is said to inhabit Loch Ness, which is a lake, in the Scottish Highlands in Scotland. It is often described as large, long-necked, and with one or more humps protruding from the water. Reports of this monster date back to the 6th century, but it wasn't well known until 1934 when an Englishman named Robert Kenneth Wilson photograph the alleged creature. The iconic image, known as the surgeon's photograph, appeared to show the monster's small head and neck. The Daily Mail, which is a big newspaper in England, printed the photograph, sparking an international sensation. Ever since that time, uh, well, it turned into kind of a, what we might call an old school meme. Everybody jumped in. Everybody started coming up with photos and videos and drawings of old Nessie, but as I already mentioned, they didn't, well, nobody came up with a smoking gun. It looked like a boat that had turned upside down. And I thought, well, what's that? Okay, so now let's flash forward to today. This new evidence was actually reported by a 54-year-old man. I guess he was vacationing in the Loch Ness. His name is Richard Maver, and guess what? He's a YouTuber. He has a channel called Richard Outdoors. The video clip isn't very long, but here in the water, we can see a huge creature. It doesn't look like it's moving, but it does clearly show up in the video. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, on the one hand, you know, this footage does look kind of compelling. I mean, you know, maybe Richard caught all Nessie taking a nap and we finally got some real footage here. But on the other hand, you know, this clip is very short and I don't really understand why somebody flying a drone, recording footage with probably 64 gigabytes of a card in the drone would stop shooting like after 30 seconds. It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay guys, take another look and let the world know what you think. Real footage? or maybe just another hoax in a long line of Loch Ness monster fakes. If you think it's real, unaltered footage, go with real. 
On the other hand, if you think this is not real footage, like, you know, somebody created this digitally or something else like that, then you go with fake. And if you think we don't have any proof one way or another, well, then you just go with unknown. All right, I know a lot of you guys probably went with fake, like, you know, within a millisecond. But can I point something out to you before we open this up? And that is, it's one thing to know something is fake, like that's just your intuition. It's a whole other thing to prove it's fake, okay? So, you know what we say, if you don't have the smoking gun, you gotta leave it as an unknown. So, you might wanna change your, your answer there. So, what I'll do right here is I'll, 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 I'll slow down, I'll go slow motion for a second. Let you guys change your mind. Now we'll go back to regular speed. And uh, let's see what we have here. What do we have for an answer? And the answer, and this is official. And, man, you know I hate these. But it's not true. Oh, well, wait a minute. Well, how would you say it? it is true? It's not true. It's, well, basically, let me just tell you what it is. It's on... No, actually, it's fake. That's right. According to numerous sources, the Nessie in this footage was inserted digitally into the video. And the smoking gun part, well, apparently what Richard did was, you know, he already had this footage of the Loch Ness Lake, right? Uh, and he had already posted it where people could look at it. Now, what he did was he took a little section of that and then he inserted the Loch Ness Monster into it digitally and posted that, but... He didn't erase the original footage. Somebody found that, they pointed it out, and well, that proves without a fact that it is really super duper fake. Now, as far as what that creature in the water really is, well, that turns out to be a picture of a plesiosaur, dinosaur, that neighbors got from the internet and inserted into the video. Nice job, guy. <laughs> Loch Ness Monster Hunters, well, you might say they were a little bit disappointed, but you know what? Somehow, I don't think this is gonna stop them from hunting from old Nessie, and I don't think it will stop new evidence coming our way soon. Hey, anybody out there have a trampoline? Okay, well, make sure to tie it down because when a storm comes calling, this can happen, and yes, this video is real. Big thanks to Jonah Monoff for sending this in. Some animals have an amazing ability to camouflage themselves, like this one, which is called a walking stick. And then there's their run-of-the-mill chameleons. And then how about this underwater creature called a scorpion fish? But what about this frog? The picture was sent in by Jonah Monoff, who wrote, Hey Bill, am I seeing this right? Or is this just another BFF, as in big fat fake? Jonah. This looks like a tough one because, you know, for starters, I mean, doesn't that picture look a little too colorful to be real? I mean, that is bright green. Uh, and then secondly, if it is camouflaging itself, what is it camouflaging itself into? You know, like a uh, swamp on another planet or something? Okay, guys, take another good look and let the world know what you think, real, fake, or unknown. While you do that, I will get out the red envelope of truth. I will open it up. I will pull out the official answer. And I will read to you what it says. And it says, oh boy. <laughs> Are you ready for this? This is a shocker. Because the official answer is real. Jonah, the frog is a real live frog and it's called a Vietnamese mossy frog. Its green body, black spots, and spine make it look like a clump of moss. And guess what? That's what it spends most of its time trying to look like. Hey, a lot of you guys are still sending in this video wanting to know if this creature is real or not. I'm pretty sure it's fake, but uh, what I'm looking for is the smoking gun to prove it's fake. If you have any information that would help me in this regard, well, please send it to billschannel at gmail.com. Thank you. Hey, 
have you noticed how many new high-tech flying machine pictures and videos are around these days? I think the most promising are the pictures of those giant drones that just might be our taxis of the future. But what about this picture? It was sent in by Sanad Alustra and claims to show a flying car built in Slovakia. Sanad wrote, hey Bill, I saw this flying car picture, but I don't know if it's real or fake. All right, Sanad, you got me with this one. Not because you gave me a picture of a flying car, but because you gave me a picture of a flying car that claims to be in Slovakia. Slovakia is part of the European Union, but in size, it's only as big as New Hampshire in the United States. It only has 4.5 million people and has the distinction of, listen to this, the most castles per capita than any other country in the world. Artist Andy Warhol's heritage is Slovak, but I haven't heard of any flying car visionaries from there. Okay guys, take another look at this bad boy and let the world know what you think. If you think this is a real flying car and it was made in Slovakia, then go for real. If on the other hand you think it's either fake or just not from Slovakia, then go with fake, and as always, you can go with unknown. All right, let's see who's got it wrong and who's got it right. I mean, you know, this could be a flying car, but is it from Slovakia? I mean, I could see maybe China or Japan or the US or someplace like that, but you know, Slovakia. How did they become a leader in designing flying cars? I mean, I don't want to put down Slovakia. I'm sure it's a great country. I've just never been there, you know? So listen, if somebody wants to send me an airplane ticket, I will go there. I will travel the whole country. I will find out how cool it is and I'll make a video telling the whole world about it, all right? If this is real. Uh, but it has to be real, okay? So let's see what it says here. Uh, and... <laughs> Yeah, looks like I might be taking a trip to Slovakia, but only if somebody sends me a ticket. Remember that. Uh, but then again, maybe not. So let's see. Uh, what did it say? Yeah, double checked it. Real. According to an article in Euro News, it's called the Air Card, and it is indeed from Slovakia. It was created by a company called Klein Vision. Its 35-minute maiden voyage was flown by the company's co-founder, Stefan Klein, over, that's right, Slovakia. You know, I just had another idea. I think probably the best way to do this is I'm going to leave the address to this company that built this car down in the description box. Now, what you guys need to do is write to them, tell them to send me an airplane ticket. I will fly over there and fly in this car myself. I'm not going to hold my breath, but hey. Okay, well, if you're thinking about clicking away, I wouldn't do that because you know what comes up next, right? That's right, my favorite fake of the week, and I got a good one this week. Uh, but before we do that, let's get to some all new mind bending fan art. First up is this imaginative hand drawn piece from Dissimi. Bill is shining the light of truth on Freddy Fazbear, and if I had to tell you what the truth is, well, here's the truth. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie hasn't even started filming yet. Now that's truth. Next we have Bill fighting Cartoon Cat and Siren Head on the ocean with a smoking gun. The picture is by Matthew Desyatnikov, who said he created it on a mobile app. Nice job, Matthew. Here we have a cool looking Bill portrait from Hawk, very cool, and another portrait from William Ness. William told me to look out for the secret message in here, which, oh, that is really sweet. Thank you, William. Here we have a simple but pleasing sketch from Seth Chung. Seth said he drew it to show how much he loves the Real or Fake show. Oh, no. Thank you, Seth. That's really nice. Our last item today is a video from Raju Rupnarin, who lives in Trinidad. Check this out. Wow, that is some great work, Raju. Uh, I think you have some talent there. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. 
And now for my favorite fake of the week. The video is called Shark in a Pool and it was sent in by Smash One. The video was, I think, created, but definitely posted by Technique ZB Golden. But as much as I like this video, the truth is, it is. So, so fake, fake, it's funny! Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.